first of all I just want to say I am very sick thank god for the e-girl trend where you could just put pink everywhere because my eyelids are red, my eyes are red, my nose is red, I have such a cold. As you guys saw in my last video, I removed the hair color that I had from before. I was so shocked that the hair color remover worked this good. Sorry about the way that I'm having this on, I am very cold. <laughs> this is how my hair looks right now. I actually did use the hair color remover twice, but the second time didn't really do anything, so I would not really recommend to do that. I have tried the C vitamin technique. I did it yesterday and it didn't work either. So here we are. Um, bleach. <laughs> bleach is the way to go. I've always, always, always used bleach to remove uh, these stubborn hair colors and also I am in desperate need of a root touch up as you guys can see. We shall see what kind of hair color I will do. I'm not really sure. Maybe I will just stay blonde for a while. A lot of you guys want me to do gray hair, which I had in the good old days, but we shall see what happens after this video. So yes, we are going to bleach our hair. I wasn't really sure if I should do like a bleach bath. My hair is still like kind of light and I am blonde naturally so I usually don't need to bleach my hair that many levels. The main thing about this video is that we are going to try out the new, the vegan, the cruelty free, the amazing Arctic Fox bleach please. Thank you god. You guys know that I just found a cruelty free bleach but it's been years where I've just been looking for cruelty free and vegan bleach and I haven't found any. But Arctic Fox is one of my favorite brands of all time. I love them so much. All of their hair colors, you guys know I I have all of them. <laughs> it says that it contains polycare split therapy. It repairs damaged cuticles and split ends. Vegetable based, non irritating, and non ecotoxic. So let's just get started. I'm going to mix it in this little Arctic Fox bowl. You should mix the ratio of one bleach and twice the developer. However much bleach you put in, you should put the same amount but twice. Does that make sense? Yeah. So here inside we have the 25 volume developer. The box bleaches that you buy here in Sweden, you have to use the entire thing and then, I mean, sometimes you don't need to bleach your entire hair and then you just throw away a bunch of bleach. But this is made so you can just mix a bit of it and then save for later, which is amazing not only the developer you also get the bleach of course and this is actually a cream bleach which is something that i've never really been working with so that will be interesting and then you get some latex free gloves okay let's just get started i guess but oh my god look at my roots <gasps> that's so good though my hair has been feeling so fresh and non-damaged right now. We shall see if we will change that <laughs> right now. Okay, so this is the cream bleach. Let's see if how much we should put in. Ooh, this actually smells good. <laughs> or does it? I have a cold. How much do you put in? I don't know. This is also super watery. I don't know if you guys can tell, but apparently it should be like that. You know what? I'm actually going to put in some shampoo. I've heard that that's how you should do it. Like, I don't know. I think I'm ruining this. I'm so scared. I'm so sorry. I mean, let's just get started and apply this. Should I apply it here first, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is so watery as well. I'm like, did I get it everywhere? I feel like I should do the roots last. Okay, let's just do this. I'm gonna put on a Twilight soundtrack because that's everything I've been doing for two days now. 
watching Twilight. It's a really good but really bad movie. <laughs> like, it's so good, but it also is like really, really bad at times. Oh well. Okay, this might have been a mistake because I feel like it is not lifting at all and I'm already out of this. So I'm just gonna do some more, I guess. Ah, I feel like this was really bad of me. Okay, honestly, I feel like this have been the worst bleach experience I've ever done and not at all because of the product. But why did I try and do this bleach bath thing? I feel like this is not gonna do anything for my hair. Also, I feel like it is like tickling. So if this is not gonna do anything but just like tickle my scalp, I'm gonna be pissed. So I'm just gonna put this up in a little plastic bag to keep it warm and toasty. There we go, see you guys in an hour. <laughs> I just wanna say before you guys see me, I just woke up and I'm very, very sick. I don't think I've ever looked this bad on YouTube. And my hair, what, what? And my brows, yes, I dyed them dark brown yesterday. So that is why they are like super, super dark right now. And my hair is so, well, I would say it's blonde but it's more like a very bleached blonde, obviously. But like, look how much this lifted my hair. I can still see a difference between this side and this side. And also, I mean, what is this? And what is this little curly, curly thing doing? I feel ashamed. I don't ever feel ashamed of how I look, but I just don't look good today. And also, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you guys can see. I have a pimple right here. I didn't really have bleach enough for the back. Or I could make some more and bleach the back. But yeah, this is how it looks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should probably do something about this, right? Oh, no, this. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. No. I know you guys might want better content, but at the moment I'm not really sure what to do with my hair right now. So it's a lot going on and I'm just like, should I just try and make this a blonde or should I do a pink or like what should I do? I'm not really sure. But this is what happened from the Bleach Please product. And I am very, very happy about it. I have a lot of oil in my hair right now because I was really scared that my hair was gonna fall off, but it feels really, really nice, honestly. And it felt good yesterday as well when I just came out of the shower. So one of the things that I'm most excited about about this product is that I usually just bleach my roots. And therefore it is so good that you can just mix a little bit and then you have product left. As I said, here in Sweden, we don't really have box dyes that you can do that with. I'm very excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna leave now and not let you guys have to watch this um, sick face of mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see what I do next with my hair. Love you guys and see you guys in the next video.